of bucks have really helped a lot. Have helped the people to speak out what they feel and what they see around them. Through the effort of ICS with their fresher courses and dialogue between us, teachers and students, be it defilement, school dropout, it has been reduced generally by 60%. I am proud to say that. The teachers are beating us anyhow, but now they, they give us positive punishment. Through ICS, we had also what we call the Child Information Management System. Lakini kwanzia sasa wa mama wamechukua majukumu wamejua ya kwamba wanaezalea watoto atabira wazee. With the skillful parenting, men are also taking responsibility in parenting. It is playtime at Ujami Primary School in Busia County, Western Kenya. Among the pupils is Vanessa and Felix. The two are part of the 21,031 learners in Busia County who have benefited from the Ending Violence Against Children project being implemented by investing in children and their societies, ICSSP, an innovative organization that strives towards a better future for children in rural Africa. At ICS, we see children as the present generation. We need a society that have been molded and nurtured in a way that uh, by the end of the day we will be seeing a different society from what we are seeing today. So we cannot wait for them to get to their future, we have to start with them now. Under the Ending Violence Against Children Project EVAC, ICSSP purpose to respond to the many challenges children are facing in and around schools that negatively impact on the developmental, growth and safety needs that may hinder on their safe passage into adulthood. Uh, challenges children face one, we have this defilement, then we have uh, ignorance of the parent, not complying to either treat a child or take him or her to school. Do any of these requests make you think? Because some people know that they are not going to be in Hawaii next year. They are going to move to another state to be in Guinea and Togo. Togo. And as our family, children might be go to school without breakfast. Some don't put on shoes. They don't have necessary facilities for their education like book, textbooks, uh, books to write on, pencils, pens. Initially, this being a rural school, there was a lot of uh, cases of uh, child dropout. The rate was high. There were issues with the discipline, both at home and at school. The project is designed with a two-model strategy in addressing the challenges that were empirically captured through a baseline survey. Part of the findings were the glaring cases of uh, violence against children, and that one was within the school environment and even at home and even in the communities that they live in. It is not that Busia was the worst hit, but we felt like if we make a change in one county, it can be escalated to the next county. Ending violence against children's strategy is geared at ensuring child rights are not violated in and around school and ensure legal protection. So we are working with children through schools. Currently we are working with 25 schools in three sub-counties of Busia County. ICSSP has engaged with teachers, non-teaching staff, parents, caregivers and other stakeholders at the community and at the county government levels. Through a whole school approach, teachers underwent a training on child development stages, molding behavior in children, positive discipline and good school model. We took the teachers through sessions of child development, how does child development impact on children's behavior. And then we also went ahead and trained them on molding behavior. And then we talked about positive discipline. The government banned the issue of corporal punishment, but they did not tell the teachers what are the alternatives that they can use to instill behavior. So through that, we've been able to have sessions with the teachers on what are the alternative discipline measures. Through that, we also went and taught teachers on how to make their school good or attractive to learners so that children like school in as much as they also like home. I've learned to, to talk well, 
to these children because sometimes you find as a teacher sometimes you are fatigued and maybe a child has a problem and she comes to you or he comes to you for help so it means you have to put aside your fatigue and listen to this child very very carefully so that he or she presents her problem to you so that you are in a better position to help him or her. How can we acquire it? We are now discussing. We are encouraging each other. So that at the end of the day, it's what we have self-confidence and have self-assertiveness like that. Life skill clubs were established and revamped. Pupils were encouraged to voice their concerns through the innovatively designed speak out boxes that are conveniently located within the school compounds where the concerns are documented and shared with various stakeholders. Because at times the child cannot tell you something, but he can write it down. So once he has written it down, it becomes very easy for you to start it off, to discuss with him, get the problem, whether it is at home, whether it is at school. I am sad because I usually do not drink tea before I come to school. So you can now refer that case either to the head teacher if it is a case that involves the school or to the administrators, the assistant chief if it is a case that involves something outside home, say the parent and such like. At policy level, ICS strategically engaged the county children departments and the partnership yielded new knowledge frontiers and tools for addressing child-related issues. Through ICS, we had also what we call the child information management system. And it was one of the best systems that we were able to get the reporting and see the cases, the case loads, and how they are disposed within the county. And it was very good that the national government looked into it and was able to adopt it and today we are rolling out like now there are 15 counties where the we call it the cpms that was developed by ics so with this child management system we as a county are able to identify the children who have been raped those who have been uh, molested and then we take the necessary Action. Kuna wanafunzi wengine walianza shule wakiwa wakubwa. Walianza kelasa la kwanza labda kama wana miaka 9 na miaka 10. At the community, the local area advisory councils were revamped as platforms for dialoguing on issues affecting children in and out of schools. This platform draws its membership from local administration, community opinion leaders and parents. Teachers and pupils participate in the deliberation as members. ICSSP holds the belief that real change takes place if parents are convinced of the need for change and their capacity to change. The structured, skillful parenting service model is built upon evidence-based understanding that changes in parenting can only be achieved through planned behavior change. It is in this belief that ICS deployed a participatory structured skillful parenting module training to equip parents with tailor-made skills that will positively impact on the family life whilst creating a conducive environment for children at the household level. We have three toolkits in skillful parenting. One is skillful parenting module, secondly is child protection and thirdly is family budgeting module. Kajifunza, jinsi ya kulinda watoto wangu, jinsi ya kulima, kitumu ya kwanza ya mama ukue msafi, watoto wakue wasafi. So far since 2014, we've managed to train 15,564 parents and this is in Busia and Teso. To escalate the service model uptake, ICSSP adopted a strategy of engaging the community-based organizations. So when this partnership came into being, it gave us another way, uh, more skills on improving our training of the farmers, giving them another approach to make them more, cap more capable. So we got more skills. They build our capacity as Family Life Education Program. Initially we had uh, two people that were trained on skillful parenting as uh, TOTS, trainers of trainers. Eh? 
Uh, but now our number has uh, expanded. We, we are now about four. Hundreds of parents have been reached through this strategy. <laughs> Magnet theatres are being used as tools for sensitization and amplification of skillful parenting models. But when it comes to being assertive, you take a lower position. You behave as if you know nothing. Life skills training is now embedded as part of the learning activities in the project schools. Pupils are fully taking the lead in club activities and meetings where they openly articulate various issues affecting their welfare. Even the most timid of pupils have found their voices courtesy of these forums. Before I entered this club, I was very shy. I could no longer speak in front of very many people, but today I can. The speak-out boxes are now a convenient port of call. Pupils freely make their posting with the assurance that their concerns and fears will be adequately addressed. Child-friendly systems have been adopted in project schools. Today, the child-teacher relationship is better because children feel they are now loved more by their teachers. They can easily express themselves to the teachers as initially because they feared any time they see a teacher they knew, a teacher calls a child and the child knows I'm going to be punished, so he's running away. But today, they are very free with the teachers. They'll talk to the teachers and express themselves. The systems have created a seamless, friendly interaction between the school administration, teachers and pupils. The concept of collaborating just does a lot in having a smooth administration where children are seeing teachers as friends and uh, teachers are seeing children as, as friends. The child-friendly systems have seen Busia Township Primary School receive recognition from UNICEF. The school has a designated area Christian Peace Zone where pupils retreat for self-reflection and peace-building activities. ICS also strategically established a partnership with Children Legal Aid Network, CLAN, to offer legal aid to children on pro bono basis. We have a very strong network of paralegals. And these paralegals have also taken up these parenting skills through trainings or by interacting with those people who have been trained. And these paralegals, they pass this information or this message whenever they engage members of the public at the community level. Trained paralegals are today playing their parts in documenting cases and making the necessary follow-ups and referrals. When I say community members, we have to know the rights of our children. Our children are now in the same way. We have to find cases that are still in the same way. Because if you have to find the rights of our children, you have to find the rights of our children. Both parents are alive. The local area advisory councils have become very strategic instruments as deterrent of child abuse and neglect cases. In Matayos, the area chief has become innovative in the use of community policing. Through the effort and what the government has given us, that is a, a motorbike. When going through my area of jurisdiction, people realize I am monitoring something. We also tell them we have our people called community policy. And we always tell them that this community person, person it's a major work. It's just to see something that is unusually happening and give us the report. Many couples are today experiencing tranquility, courtesy of skillful parenting knowledge. The positive effects are now cascading down to the children. The home environment has indeed become a haven of happiness and inclusivity for health, developmental, growth and safety of the children. Fathers are sharing quality time with their spouses and children and also doing their bit of domestic chores. The Ending Violence Against Children project, EVOC, has indeed had a positive impact on the children and their societies in Busia County. At first, I was shy. I feared the teachers. 
and when Life Skills Lab was brought, it promoted my self-esteem. I became confident and free with teachers. Any child that has been brought up by a skillful parent is a wholesome child who is focused, who is dependable, who is self-reliant, and a child that can become a better leader for people to depend on. Vital lessons have equally been learned. What I've learned is that children with corporal punishment will never excel. They fear. They always develop fear and therefore they might not express themselves both in class and outside class. Working with children is very good because children have a memory and they are willing to learn. Several milestones have been achieved and opportunities have indeed been created to insulate children against violence and uphold their rights. ICS managed to get an award, the Jacob Klaus Award, for the best practice of skillful parenting in 2016. We now have ICS website. As Felix fastens his shoelaces to take the next strides in his life's journey, he and many children in Busia County can be assured that the investment by ICFSP will sustainably offer them an opportunity for a prosperous future.